So you just started a business and you want to grow your business on social media. You want to take your business from either zero followers or little followers to like all the way up to 100,000 plus and more. Well, I'm going to give you my experiences, things that I've learned along the way, just little tips and tricks to help you grow your business this year. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I don't have some big fancy whiteboard behind me. I don't have some PowerPoint. I'm not up here to sell you guys any masterclass. I do have an ebook out that teaches you how to start your own business, but that's neither here nor there. I don't have, you know, a hundred thousand followers on my Instagram, but I will give you the real deal. I will tell you everything that I've learned along the way on my journey because I literally started my Instagram from a few hundred which was only friends and family and then I grew it to now over 70,000 K but just off of my business strategies tips and different things that I'm gonna show you today I'm really gonna show you how I've grown so fast and I'm still growing I'm still implementing all the strategies that I'm about to share with you I couldn't wait till I got to 100,000 followers on Instagram because I'm like this information is so good and I've been getting a lot of questions I've been getting hit up in my DMs emails and stuff so I want to really help you guys out I'm aware that I have a lot of new entrepreneurs that's following me here on YouTube you're inspired by my journey you want to do the same thing but you don't really know where to start how to get your feet into the pool you're scared to put your toe into the pool of social media I'm here to take all that fear away from you well I'm gonna try to because you're gonna have to do it yourself but I'm here to tell you what has been working for me give you some tips and tricks give you some strategies that you can implement to help you grow your social media if this is your very first time to my channel my my name is Katrina welcome I do weekly tutorials unboxings product reviews I do all of these different strategy videos to help you grow and start your business so if this sounds like something that you might be interested in please check out all my past content and so that way you can bring yourself up to speed but today we're gonna jump right in so go ahead and get your pens and your pads your notebooks your iPhones whatever it is that you need to take down some notes because we dive in right in for today so as a new business owner, you might be saying, which social media platform do I choose? Do I need to be on everything or do I need to just choose just one? Everything keeps changing. And in the beginning, when I first started, it was you need to be on everything. I was never on Twitter. I only did Facebook, but not really so much. I mainly focused my business on YouTube, Instagram, and sort of TikTok. I kind of missed the ball with TikTok when it really, really was taking off. Um, and I do a little bit on TikTok, but now I'm about to transition and change up everything on TikTok. So even though my largest platform is here on YouTube, that takes some time to build. That takes momentum. That takes work. You have to really be dedicated. You have to, you know, hone into the craft. That's a whole different type of platform where it might take you, you know, two, three, four, or even five years in the game to grow. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about social media outside of YouTube and then you can decide which platform you're gonna go on that's up for you to decide because you're gonna have to know which audience is for you and your business so I will say when you're just starting out you have a big advantage over a lot of people who've been in the game already and they can't really figure it out but if you are a new entrepreneur if you are someone who is just starting a small business use that to your advantage I kid you not people love to see a come up people love to see new business they want to see what you're doing they want to see everything behind the scenes partly because they're nosy but also because if they're just starting out they want to see what things that you're doing that's going to help you succeed they want to see your struggles they want to see the trials they want to see the ups and downs they want to see your losses but they definitely want to see the wins they want to know what it's going to take but they also love to see just like a real authentic person really out here trying to make it grinding and hustling and how do I know because that's how I started and grew my business so if you don't really know my story please go back and take a look at that video where I talked about how I quit my nine-to-five how I started I kind of went in a little detail about everything 
I was really transparent about my story. So if you have a small business, please leverage your small business because one day it might not be so small. And if they're with you on your journey, your road to success, those are going to be your loyal followers. Those are going to turn into your loyal customers. Those are going to be the people who are going to support you throughout your journey. So if you are not scared to share your journey, and I'm not saying share every single detail, but you know, the most important parts or the parts that you think are going to be vital to helping you win. So that is going to be something that sets you apart from other creators, other small business owners, because not everyone out here is sharing and exposing how they're doing on a day to day basis. So if you can film yourself as you're starting your business, um, taking video footages, I'm telling you people eat it up. People love it because they want to be a part of it. So if you can create content around your business, starting off and how you're doing on a daily basis, how you're making sales, how you're packing your orders, how you're implementing all the different things that you're using, your tools and stuff. Listen, now they're getting to know you. Now you're building that community trust. Now they get to see your brand. They get to see your brand message. I'm going to get to that in just a second. Because all those things are so important are key factors into building your business. So if you take me, for example, I've given my story about my son, how I quit my job, how I walked away from everything based upon my son's condition. And I turned it into his own clothing brand. But then I also have a Christian clothing brand called Moving Grace. It's all tied together. It's all cohesive under this whole umbrella, Katrina's Graceful Creations, under my YouTube channel name. So my whole business is centered around me as a single mother, me, um, taking care of my son who has some challenges and some needs and I'm moving in grace. I'm, I'm moving in God's grace every single day. I'm fighting. I'm running this race while I'm working my business. And my son's business is called to hype because he has a hyper condition. All these different things. We turned it around and made it into something positive. And now it's all under this umbrella where I'm teaching you guys and I'm showing you guys how I'm working my business on a daily basis. So leverage your small business. And if you are not afraid to get in front of the camera, if you are not afraid to tell your story, which you should not be because every successful brand, every successful business company should have a vision, should have a message that speaks loud, it's clear, it's bold. And you have to know that because you have to know your target audience and who you are talking to. So my message definitely isn't for everyone. My message for my business, my brand isn't for everyone. I have a Christian clothing brand. So all those who are not Christian or don't really identify with that because you don't technically have to be a Christian, but a lot of things are, you know, um, inspirational base. And if you don't identify that or it doesn't resonate with you, then that message isn't for you. So my overall brand message, my overall business is for that person, that parent, whether it's a single parent or a married parent, but you're dealing with struggles with kids. You're trying to get out of your nine to five. You're trying to start a business. You're trying to work it from home. You come from nothing. Like it's just so many messages that my brand and my business will resonate with and you want to try to hit that heart you want to try to hit those nerves while people can be like I can see myself in that person. I can see myself in that message. That's how you will build your core audience, your true audience. I'm going to talk all today about the difference between a warm audience and a cold audience. Those cold audience people, Man, those are the ones that's gonna get your sales. Those are the ones that's gonna be your true ideal clients. It's gonna be the difference between you making a few sales a month to a lot of sales. There's a few key factors that you should be thinking about always that's gonna help you be able to market your business and grow your business on social media. And you can't do these things without it. It just won't work. So if you're gonna market your business, number one, you have to have a product can't sell anything if you don't have a product. Number two, you have to know your ideal client. You have to know who you're marketing to, who you're selling to, who is going to be your potential clients, your lifelong clients, and your true potential buyers. Number three, you have to have a brand message. You have to know your vision and you have to know what your brand message is. 
Four, we're gonna talk about some marketing strategies. You have to know how to market. You have to know how to, you know, engage with the people. You have to know how to pull in your audience. And number five, we're gonna talk about how to convert all of that into sales. All right, if y'all ready, I'm ready, let's go. So first we're gonna talk about products. The first thing you have to have if you're starting a business is of course a product. But is there a need for your product? Is it something that people actually are going to buy? Just because we like something doesn't mean the world is gonna like it. Everyone doesn't have to like it, but you need enough people to like it that's going to want to buy it. So with any product that you're selling, it has to have three main factors, three key ingredients. Like, you know, sometimes you got a cake, you cannot have it without those three key ingredients. You need the flour, the sugar, the eggs. You can't make a cake without that, right? So your product has to have necessity, urgency, and transformation. You can't sell it without it. You cannot sell any product without that. Now, what do you mean by that, Trina, necessity? It has to be necessary for me to buy it. Is there a need for your product? Your product needs to be filling a need, filling a void, answering a problem, solving a problem in my life that I need to buy it. I need a hoodie because it's cold. I need those heels because I'm going to an event tonight. It matches my outfit. I need it in my life. I need that toothpaste or else my breath is gonna stink. I need that new glueless wig for my hot date tonight. Now, I don't need it, but the way you market it makes me think I need it. That's the whole key. You might not need it, but you feel like you need it. Sometimes needs are a want, but the whole idea and the concept behind it is the product needs to be filling a need for the customer that makes them feel like I can't get off this website, I can't leave this ad, I can't leave the store without it. And once you have fulfilled that first part, you got them hooked, you got them hooked, okay? So now I have some hoodies, my prey hoodies. I've been marketing these and I'm still not done because I've been marketing my prey hoodies um, where it says pray, wait, and trust. Now, there's so many different types of hoodies out there, right? Everyone has a t-shirt business, selling hoodies, selling crew necks. But the way I have marketed mine and the way I have put my sayings together on the back, it says, get ready, it's getting ready to happen. The front says pray, wait, and trust. I put music with it, I put sayings, I put my own you know, voiceovers on it. I'm not sure if you've seen some of my reels on Instagram. I've, you see me on here on YouTube um, actually making it. You see the pro that's part of the process behind, right? I'm showing you the day-to-day -day process, the ins and out of me making it. Um, all of that comes with into you know, sharing and leveraging your startup business, right? But it's also the marketing that goes into it. The message that I'm sending out when you identify with my message, if it triggers you, if it touches you, if it compels you, that's opening up that gateway to that heart. That's getting you to feel something that you might not have been thinking about or something that resonates with you that you need to pray, trust, and wait on God for in your own life. Now you're saying, wow. She's hitting home for me. Now I need that hoodie because it resonates with me. Now I can wear it boldly. Now I can wear it proudly. Now you might know already in your life, you already need to pray, wait, and trust on God. But this hoodie serves as a remembrance. The back serves as, you know, clarity. It serves as manifestation that it's getting ready to happen in your life. You see how I put all that together? So whatever product that you're selling, you have to market it in a way where that customer needs it. They might not know they need it, but you're gonna make them think they need it. It's not, and please don't think it's manipulation because if that's the case, we're being manipulated by everything we see, or you know, with all the ads and commercials that we see, right? But it's just good marketing strategies and you have to learn how to master it. So necessity, that's the first thing. And then the urgency. You have to be able to, you know, turn the necessity into something urgent because now you don't want them to just think about it. You want them to act on it and you want them to actually buy the product. So then how do you get them to turn that necessity into an urgency, which is the second one? How do you get them to go from just looking at it and 
feeling compelled to buy it to actually clicking add to cart and buy how do you get them to actually pay and turn it and convert it into a sale you can add coupons you can add special sales you can say limited time only also the marketing as well that plays a part you know whether it's seasonal um, not gonna be here long you can do all types of strategies to make people feel like they have to purchase it right then and there when I do my one-on-ones and my coachings I give so many different examples based upon the business needs that the client has on how to target the audience how to market how to come up with sales pitch and strategies um, different things that you can do for your social media platforms whatever it is that you are selling in your business I try to give you examples so that way you can find those reasons to make it urgent to make it feel like someone has to buy it whether I'm selling a hoodie or whether I'm selling a bling mug I'm gonna make it urgent that you have to have it because you know this is one of a kind who else is doing these glitter leopard print with the bling of course maybe a few but I'm selling me as well right so you have to learn how to market yourself into your business so people buy into you not just the product they're not really buying into the product they're buying into me the brand they're trusting in me and of course that's gonna go with the cold and warm marketing so we're gonna get to that in just a second but lastly it's the transformation the transformation is what people are looking for so a really good example of transformation is those waist trainers so you see everybody buying the waist trainers I even bought one a few years ago I rarely used it but I bought it because I wanted my waist snatch right that was the urgency I wanted my waist snatch I want it to be looking good for the summer and when you put that waist trainer on the way they market it you know you're dripping the sweat you're losing the inches you're losing the pounds there was a necessity because I needed it because I wanted to lose the weight there was the urgency because I wanted to do it within a certain time frame and then there was the transformation they, they gave you the before and the after they showed you the results of using their product that's the transformation so if I buy the waist trainer it's gonna make me transform my body it's gonna give me that snatch waistline that I want that's the transformation so when you buy this hoodie it's gonna make you feel good it's gonna make you pray more because it's going to serve as a reminder it's going to make you realize that if you do this it's an action it's a call to action if you do this it's going to happen for you in your life whatever you're praying for whatever you're seeking for whatever it is that you want in your life it's going to come to pass because you're going to bring it to fruition because you're speaking it you're manifesting it and you're walking it and wearing it every day do you see how every product you have to be able to give that message you have to be able to make Make sure that it's a necessity that someone actually needs it that someone actually wants to buy it right then and there it's an urgency for it and it's going to transform their life in some way shape or form it's going to bring about a change a result that they need based upon the product that you are selling so with those three factors involved you've created what you would call an irresistible product an irresistible product that someone is gonna have to want and need and buy from you and then if you have that listen that's just the start your business is going to take off if you keep doing that over and over again with every product that you put out every product that you launch you have a multi-million dollar business in no time those are the three key factors to a successful sustainable business but let's continue because we got to grow on social media some more so let's keep rocking and rolling so now that you have your products how do you find the clients the second thing is going to be your ideal clients how do you find the ideal client how do you find your target audience who are you marketing to so the difference between growing your platform with your warm audience and a cold audience is going to be your warm audience are the people that already know you your friends and family your co-workers they're warm they already have or they should know you they should trust you they should love you and they should believe in you right they should buy your products but let's just be real how many of them do I started my business with my own family I started my business with my children church family extended friends and different things like that and I got people to reshare and I got people to you know help me when they bought posted and I did really well with them right but none of them I don't think anyone who bought from me the first time ever bought like a second time 
maybe one or two people so those were not really my ideal clients you get what i'm saying they supported me they might have shared it but out of thousands and thousands of people i know i probably only had maybe maybe under a little 200 people to buy from me that i knew those were my warm audience right not sustainable not gonna last me it's not gonna keep me in the business right so what you want is to find your target audience your co-audience those are gonna be your people who find you out of nowhere know you from they don't know you from a can of paint they don't know you from adam and eve but once they find you they believe in you they trust you they like you and no matter what you are selling they buy from you those are going to be your ideal clients those are going to be your potential long lasting buyers that sustain your business let's get into it let's talk about how we find them let's talk about how we get them and let's talk about how we keep them so depending upon the product that you're selling depending upon the product that you're marketing and launching is going to determine the message that you're sending out and that's going to determine the clients that you have you have to know who your target audience is like i told you in the beginning i know that i'm not marketing to everybody i'm not marketing to you know Joe, who, you know, is a bike rider. I'm just not. He's not my potential client unless he just happens to be buying something for his wife or for his sister or mother or something like that. But he himself is not my client. You get what I'm saying? The bike rider, he's not, and he's into leather and he's into vests and he, I don't sell those type of products. So I know exactly who my audience is. You're not going to become a six figure, seven figure business by selling to everyone. You only need to sell to just a few to become a millionaire. You understand that? As long as you have a few people that's gonna buy from you on a consistent basis, then you are golden. So know who your target audience is so that way your message can reach the right people and then the right people can find you. So if you're a dog owner and you're selling dog products, if I have a cat, I'm not going to be looking at your products, right? So you want to make sure that you're marketing to specifically dog owners, dog lovers. So that way they get the message. Oh, she's selling directly for me. Her product is for me and my little pet, you know, Sasha, because I had a little puppy named Sasha. Make sure you're building your content and your message around the people who it's supposed to go to. So when I first started out, I thought I need to be on everything, right? All social media platforms. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Now they got all these other things as well. I'm not on that Patron. Or I'm not doing all that. My main focus is YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. I never did Twitter. So you need to know where, and I think there's even Snapchat. Some people do well on Snapchat. But you need to know what people are on what platforms. So you definitely need to know which platform is going to work best for you and your product and your target audience, the age range, all that stuff plays a factor into where you're going to be posting. Now you can post all day on each platform, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, but each platform is a little different. So you might have to tweak whether it's your shorts, whether it's your reels, you might have to tweak it. So for Instagram, you might be able to reach a lot of people using the trending sounds on Instagram. But on TikTok, they really love, you know, the words. They really love like the tutorials. They really love, you know, the live sales. They So each platform is a little different. YouTube is more long form content or the shorts. So you have to know what is best for each platform in order for you to reach your target audience okay don't just post the same exact thing on all platforms thinking it's gonna land and stick because it is not I have learned if I post something on YouTube YouTube short and if I post the same thing on TikTok it does not get the same results you got to know your audience you got to know the market you got to know your people and you got to know your product as well so grabbing people's attention is gonna require like three main things you're gonna first have to be able to entertain you cannot no way around it no shape or form grab people's attention if you're not pulling them in and if you're not entertaining well that's why sometimes you see me dancing that's why sometimes you see me working that's why sometimes you see me doing all different types of things I'm doing things to grab your attention baby okay I'm up here dancing but I'm never doing anything that's outside of my morals and boundaries right outside 
outside of my brand. So don't get it twisted. You need to still do what's within your brand because it still needs to be brand content. It still needs to be something that's appropriate that's for your brand. So one thing you will never see Katrina on Katrina's Graceful Creations doing is twerking. I might dance and move and use trending sounds, but she never gonna do something that's outside of my brand, all right? So you wanna make sure that everything fits. But once I've grabbed your attention, then sometimes I wanna turn it around and I want to educate you guys. If I'm selling a product, I wanna educate you on the product as well. So not only am I entertaining you, but I'm also educating you on my product. I'm telling you what, um, what it will do for you. I'm telling you the materials, I'm telling you what the price is, where I got it from, different things like that. You just wanna educate them. Whatever your product is, if you're selling, you know, again, a mug, how many ounces, what is it made with, the finest AB crystals, all that, the glitter. You want to educate them on the product so that way they know what the product is about and what it can do for them. All that, you want to educate them on the product. And then, I ain't talking about no sales yet, right? I, 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 I brought you entertainment, I brought you the education, but then lastly, then you want to sell the product without sounding too salesy. You do not want to lead with the price. You do not want to always be throwing buy now, buy now in the face. You want them to want to buy. You want them to feel the necessity, the urgency, and feel like there's a transformation that will take place if they buy it. So once you have your product, once you have all of the, the factors of the product down, then once you start marketing on social media, you want to entertain, then you want to educate, and then lastly, you want to sell. And I'm telling you, if you do those things, that's how you will grow your business on social media. Your business will start to pick up. You'll gain more followers. You'll gain more traction. But of course you want to implement trending sounds. Of course you want to implement, you know, different types of techniques as well. There's so many different types of short form content, overlay content, texting content, all those different things, transitions, all those different things and tools that you can use for marketing strategies. And I haven't even mentioned running ads. I'm going to be running ads this summer. I'm going to be doing a series on running ads, all of that. But I'm just letting you know, these are tips and tricks that I'm giving you without even running ads. This is when you're just starting your new business out the gate, things that you can do. All right. So take note. I haven't even mentioned running ads yet. Now let's talk about the message that you want to put out there for your brand. You have to have a vision. You have to have a strong message that's going to compel people to buy into your brand. You have to think to yourself, what do you want to be known for? When people think of your brand, when they see your logo, when they see your products, what's the message behind it? What do you want people to feel when they're wearing your product? What do you want people to get? What does it mean? So my brand, I always have to come back to it moving grace. Every single thing that I'm doing, no matter where I'm at, I want God's grace around me. I want people to know and feel like, yeah, I can do anything because God got my back. I'm moving in grace. I am always under his covering. That's why a lot of the, the phrases that I have, pray, wait, and trust. So I'm covered by faith. Different things, it's going to evoke certain feelings. You want your brand message to speak loud without you having to always shout it from the mountaintops. I don't want to have to always preach and tell you what it's about. People should see your brand and know know instantly what it means so just like Nike just do it automatically I know what their brand message is so you have to think to yourself before I start marketing my product what does it mean to me what do I want people to feel or think about when I become this big household name because that's the whole goal right that's what you're working towards to become a multi-million dollar business right if you're not I don't know what you're doing but I want my brand to get out to as many people as possible and I want them to know what I stand for and I want them to know what my brand represents think about what it means to you 
tell your story, captivate your audience with your brand messaging. And you can tell it in a number of ways. You don't have to have like a mission statement where you're reading it off. You have to be able to convey your message in a way through marketing, through whether it's through ads or whether it's through trending reels and sounds. You have to be able to convey it without always having to say it. Think about how you're gonna take, you know, captivating footage. You can do subtle videos, low content videos, but they also have big rewards. They'll have a big impact and they have the potential to go viral. Those small five to second videos, listen, those what set some people over the top. So think about different forms of marketing strategies to get your message out there. And you don't wanna do the same type of content every single day. So yes, you can do the fun, energetic, high energetic you know, videos, you can post the pictures, you can do the catalogs, you can do all that, but you also wanna do like those small little clips. You wanna use trending sounds, you wanna use inspirational words, you wanna show yourself working, you wanna do behind the scenes, you wanna do a mixture, you wanna do a variety because you wanna see what's gonna work best and land best for your audience. So once you have clarity on your message, on your vision, on your brand, then you'll be able to market that and then you'll be able to get that out there and the right people will find you. I'm telling you, the right people will find you. The message will get out. People will begin to know what you're about. They'll begin to know what your brand is about. That's when people begin to feel your authenticity. That's when people will begin to say, hmm, I'm liking this brand. I'm really beginning to trust this brand. Once you have people's trust, oh yeah, you got them hook, line, and sinker, okay? Make sure you have a solid message, a solid message. Then you'll be able to put that out there. And once you put that out there, it's going to attract. It's going to be like a magnet, baby. The people who it's meant for will get it and they'll be drawn to you. They'll begin to be sucked in. They'll find you. Your page will grow, but you have to be consistent. You cannot put up a, a really dope video one day and then fall off and post nothing else for the next week. That's a whole nother video about consistency and making sure you're staying on top of it. Now, we're not talking about what platform yet. Again, you have to figure out what platform is going to be best for you. You can do multiple platforms if you want to, but just make sure you are not spreading yourself too thin. I said that earlier. It's just like chickens running wild. You don't want to be trying to catch a chicken here, catch a chicken there, and then you, at the end of the day, you ain't got no chicken. So you want to be able to make sure to be able to focus and manage one social media platform. If you can do two, you can do two. Sometimes some of us can't manage more than one platform, okay? So if you think that you can only master one, master one, then move on to another social media platform. No matter what platform you choose, just make sure that you're able to give your all to each platform, okay? Because it takes a lot to learn each platform. It takes a lot to promote on each platform. So just make sure you're giving 110% on every platform that you choose. So those ideal clients, the right buyers, they will find you once you put your message out there. Once it's meant for them, once you have your target audience, baby, listen, you are golden. I'm telling you, they'll find you, they'll be attracted to you, and they will stick with you. That's your cold market. So now your warm market, those friends and families, they already on your page. They already like you. They already know you, right? But they might not be buying from you. The cold audience is what's going to be drawn to you. They're the ones that's going to find you and scroll through your page, scroll through all your content that you've posted already because you should be posting on the regular, right? Once you have built up your page and you're making all your different posts, you're building your community. You're building your tribe. You're building your followers. But most of all, you are turning those those cold customers, those brand new followers, and you're converting them into your ideal clients. That's the whole goal. That's the whole key. So you have an awesome product, you have your ideal client, you have your brand message, and now you are turning those potential cold clients, new followers, into buyers and you are going to convert that into money baby and we are making the sales that's how you grow your social media platform again you're using entertaining content you're using educational content and of course you are making the sales so growing your business on social media is definitely not hard at all it is 
scalable. It's something that everyone can do as long as you have the right tools, as long as you implement the right strategies, and as long as you're confident in yourself. You have to believe in your brand, believe in your product, because it's going to convey. People are going to know if you have a crappy product or not. If you don't believe in it, then how are you going to get people who you don't know to believe in it? So put aside your fear. Put aside the shyness because you are going to have to be on social media. There are ways around it. We're not talking about all the other ways. We're not walking around doing door to door no more. This is the time that we're living in 2024. If you focus on one platform for right now, you do not want to overwork yourself and don't see the results at all. So start out slow, learn one platform and then grow. But if you're like me and you want to do more than one platform, then of course dive in. Just make sure that you're able to diversify equally and see results from everything. If you're not seeing results from everything, then you need to dial it back, then you need to rehone in, and you need to focus on maybe just one area. But if you're looking for the best app to edit in, download CapCut if you haven't already, because CapCut is gonna help you out tremendously with editing, with transitions, with text overlay, voice recording. CapCut pretty much has everything you need. I know there's other apps, but CapCut is like pretty much the number one editing app for especially short forms, reels, different things like that. So you're gonna be able to use that video, whether it's on YouTube Shorts, whether it's Instagram Reels, and whether it's TikTok videos as well everything and of course some other platforms that i didn't mention so you'll be able to share it on all those platforms or even save it to your phone so download the cap cut app thank me later let me know down in the comments if you use that app already or if you're going to i have the pro version there's no affiliate link there's no commission i'm just literally giving you guys helpful tips so let me know if there's other apps that you like i know some people use in shot um there's some other apps but cap cut is my personal favorite okay so i just want to let you guys know that's what I edit all of my portrait form videos and not my YouTube videos all my shorts TikToks, and reels everything is done inside of CapCut all right so there's tutorials on here you can watch tutorials on how to learn the app if you guys want to see me do some social media editing show you guys how I can edit with my transitions and all the different things the um the caption overlays the voice recordings I'm gonna be doing some more cool trendy um shorts and reels soon with like doing drop-ins of like two people all that stuff is coming this year just haven't had the time editing takes a lot editing takes a lot so if you're really serious about growing your business on social media, you're going to have to learn how to edit videos. You're going to have to learn how to market in short forms, one minute or less. But of course, those five and seven second videos, listen, TikTok and Instagram are pushing those babies out. So learn how to market, learn different strategy techniques. So know your product, have your brand message, build your cold audience, make them be drawn to you. Make sure that you are entertaining, you are educating, and then you are selling last. Because listen, when you have all of that, when you do all these and implement all these strategies, you will have a sustainable business, you will grow your business, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you do these things, you watch your business grow this year. So I hope this video was helpful. So please let me know down in the comments below if you've implemented some of these things and let me know if you haven't, what things are you gonna start doing? What things did you say, oh wow, that was it right there for me. That's what I'm missing. That's the key ingredient. That's what I need to do. I really want to know what more I can do to help you guys out. Um, I do offer one-on-ones. So if you feel like this just wasn't enough for you, you need more questions answered, you feel like you need me to, whether it's look at your website, look at your social media, come up with some marketing strategies, whatever it is, you can always book a one-on-one -on -one with me. I have 30 minute and I have one hour sessions down below on my new website, Katrina's graceful creations.com or you can always purchase my ebook it takes you through the whole step of how to build your brand okay so you can download that it's on my website as well I'll be coming out with some more digital downloads to help you but if you guys want to see some more content as far as like this is concerned let me know down in the comments especially if you want to see me start doing some videos and tutorials on how to edit so if you want me to do a quick tutorial on how to make a short how to make a reel how to use Use the trending sounds and how to get it out there captions tags all that 
I got you. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, share, comment down below if this video was helpful. I pray it was. I just want to share my experience, things that I learned, things that's helped me. I literally grew my channel from friends and family from like about 700 people to now almost 70,000 in like less than a year i know that's not big to some people some people have may maybe way bigger channels but for me doing everything and doing it on multiple platforms it says something it says something the more things i learn the more things i'm going to continue to share with me because i want to help as many as i can to grow your business to that successful level that you want it to be with that being said that's all for now it's sunday i'm gonna go relax and enjoy the rest of my evening watch some tv i will see you guys in the next video as always move in grace see you later love you bye